Hey, how's it going, guys? Sergio here. Got my boy Diego on the camera. We got Rocket with the Raccoon with us. About to do an unboxing of the Anzo U bar headlights for the 2014 15 Silverado 1500s. So, what we have here, sharp stuff, pretty solid, um, all the wiring looks pretty good, nothing's loose, these are for your running daytime lights, turn signals, comes with bulbs already, we're going to be installing some HIDs in there instead, U-Bar um, looks really clean, went ahead and went with the black match the truck. We're going to go ahead and install these in today. Alright, let's get to it. So we're going to start off by taking off this top panel. Um, it's just held on by snap fasteners. So after you get that off, shows you what screws you start taking off up here. We're going to start off by taking off this lower balance, held on by a couple screws in the back. And when you're doing all this, don't forget to wear your lucky shoes. Safety first. You just got two screws there. Go ahead and start on the other side. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. <laughs> I ain't gonna listen to you. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> All right, so the issue we're running into is trying to get the uh, clips to come off and pull out at the same time. So we're gonna have Diego help me pull it as I'm unclipping it. So it's probably best to do this with two people. Here we go. Grab a 10 millimeter. So all these bolts right here for your grill. There's gonna be more at the bottom. We'll grab a different extender. After you take those top ones off, you got more down here. Just like that, girl comes right off. Notice everything's wet. I don't know if y'all been keeping up with the weather, but Texas decided to turn into the, uh, the Amazon. Uh, so that's been a lot of fun, especially for anybody that rides. Riding season's been kind of short. Hopefully it clears up a little. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Two bolts up top. What size are those? 
These are also 10 millimeter. That's nice. Makes things easier. I want to say it uses the same exact bolts as your uh, grill there too, so you don't have to worry too much about keeping those separate. I always do just to be safe. Wiggle it around a little bit, get a little good wiggle, and it slides right out. You got a clip over here, it hooks up the whole thing for you. Pop that little guy out. There we go. Okay, so we got the old one out. Put in the new. Flip this right back. There you have it. Pretty sharp. Good looking stuff. Let's get started on this other side. There we go. It looks like your biggest part of getting this thing off is right here up top there's a little tab sits right in here and that's what keeps it from pulling out so if you just focus on that the rest is pretty easy Have you ever are you listening you know, same thing this thing actually comes off clips back in makes it a little bit easier to clip it in first and then worry about putting the lamp in place or the headlight rather We're gonna go ahead and uh, reverse the whole process, starting with the grill. Go, grill back in place. Now it's time to pop in this lower balance. Alright, here we go. Line this guy up. With this, kind of just pop it in place like it was before. And you should just clip right back into where it was. All right, last piece of the puzzle. Drop this guy up top. You know, make sure you don't leave any tools underneath it.
All right, guys, drove up the street, get a better look at it. Really impressed with how they came out. Looks good with the HIDs. It's a 6,000K bulb. I mean, this looks super sharp. I mean, it's exactly what I wanted. Anzo did a good job with these headlights. I'm excited for the next project. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all soon.